Well, that's actually kind of ties into a question I wanted to ask you about the show. Um, I think I know the answer now, though, which was I've always felt, obviously, the, the first season was very different than the second season because you guys were on CBC. It was a lot more reeled in. It wasn't really vulgar in any way. The humiliations were clever but not disgusting or whatever. And uh, then you guys get picked up by Showcase, and it seemed like no, as the I'll season— you, here's, what it, here's what it was. It, we got— We'd never done a TV series before. We did a movie together, Kenny and I. We've made, Pitch, we right, made yeah. little funny movies ourselves just for our own uh, gratification. Yeah. And uh, so the show uh, gets picked up in the States by USA Network, okay? And and then we start shooting the pilot. And this is before Comedy Central and all that. This is like the very, very early on. Yeah. Very early on. Before even Canada is interested in the show. So they buy the show, which was funny to us because it was the worst pitch meeting we did all of them. Paramount, you know, we did all Warner Brothers. We pitched everywhere. Will Smith was uh, the company they bought. They bought into us. Oh wow! So we felt like, holy fuck, we yeah, that's, that's a big happen. name. So the worst pitch meeting was the USA Network. It was a uh, an Asian fellow named Stephen Chow who just sat there, stone faced. <laughs> you want to make him laugh in a pitch meeting? Yeah, of course. To sell if you're a comedy, comedy show, yeah, right? and. Uh, Every other uh, meeting was like high fives, you know, we're gonna, they're, they're gonna love it. They loved it, they <laughs> laughed. And it turns out that Stephen Chow's the one that said yes. So, so weird. So they give us money to do a pilot. And it's just a classic thing you hear about America. All of a sudden, we're in the middle of the pilot, the notes start coming in, <laughs> notes. Oh, we never done TV before. And so they didn't get it. They, they, they were thinking Spy versus Spy, if you remember Spy versus yeah, Spy Mad, from Mad, Mad Magazine. Magazine yeah. So they said, you know, Kenny does this to you, then you have to do that to him, and then he'll do this to you. And that was not what we did. Yeah. It was good versus evil. That's more what we were into. Yeah. And so they pulled the plug on us in the middle of the pilot. Damn. So, so that's like... That's cold. You get the dream, <laughs> and it's just pulled away from you. Uh, Kenny and I both went to film school, uh, and we finished the series. We did it anyways. We finished it. So we had an episode, we gave it to a guy named John Moranis, who was, worked for Alliance Atlantis. And I had used to deliver mail to him when I was a production assistant, right? And he was just a good guy, good friend of ours. And, uh, but he at that time was running, uh, he was a lawyer, but he was working for uh, Alliance Atlantis. And he saw the pilot. I don't know how he got it. Maybe I gave it to him. Maybe Kenny did. I don't know. And he almost threw up laughing. That's the, I don't know if you've seen the pilot. That's the one. Uh, is where it, I vomit keep... on the, I, I'm on the, be by the beach. And is I'm... it gaining more weight? That yeah. One? yeah. 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 I, I mean, uh, I've seen them all actually. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow. Uh, so I, time passed. Kenny and I are living pretty hobo existence in LA. We've, <laughs> we've lost everything that we thought the we had. The dream is over. The dream is yeah. over. And then we get a call that he had sold 26 episodes to CBC. And we're like, we don't even know that that's a, a crazy amount of episodes, like, you know, 13, you know, yeah, nine. Yeah, a more normal season. Right. Yeah. So this is like, okay, we're thrilled, right? You know, so we can fly back to Canada. And so what you're talking about that first season wasn't so much because of CBC's creative influence, because they essentially had none. They There was nobody ever around from the network, yeah. which was, again, the difference between Canada and the U.S. I don't know what it is now, but that's what it was. So the the um, the tameness comp comparatively to the later episodes was more just a manifestation of us not knowing how far we could go. Oh, interesting. You know, every show, season one, you're finding your feet. You're finding out what every show. I mean, look yeah. at the early first ep first season of Seinfeld. It's almost unrecognizable. That's very true. Right. And they were lucky because... Uh, Littlefield liked them or whoever was in charge at NBC. He loved Seinfeld, so he let the show grow. He didn't axe it, which is what would ha would happen to us, what would happen to most shows if they don't immediately break out. 